There are two ways to back up an iOS device, through iTunes on a Mac or PC, or via iCloud. If your iOS device is often going to be connected to your computer, utilizing iTunes for backup can be a good idea. If you don't often connect your iOS device with a computer, going with iCloud to back up your device automatically is a nice option. But it can potentially take up a lot of storage space on iCloud, which oftentimes will require you to purchase more iCloud storage to continue backing up all your iOS data. Let's start in iCloud settings here on my iPad. Activating iCloud backup takes a single tap. It's now active, and this device will backup automatically to iCloud. Tap Backup Now for an immediate backup. So what gets backed up? Anything that you've purchased from iTunes or the App Store will automatically be backed up and will not count against your iCloud storage. Along with that, all your photos and videos in your device's camera roll, device settings like favorite contacts, your wallpaper, mail and contact settings, your home screen layout, texts, iMessages, and ringtones are all backed up. What's not backed up is any data that you sync from iTunes on a computer, such as your music library. If you were to need to reload that, it could be done by syncing with iTunes again. What we need to do now is go back out to iCloud settings and see how to manage this backup. Tap Manage Storage here at the top. What I want to focus on in this lesson is the backup section here. Notice that I have two devices being backed up with iCloud. This iPad and an iPhone. Both are using very little storage space. Your personal devices may have backups that take several gigabytes though, so managing what gets backed up here can be important. Every app on your device will be listed here if it has data being backed up. If there's an app that's taking up a lot of storage, and you know you can easily recover that data, just tap and the backup will be turned off. The TMU Tutorials app is a good example of this. If you download some lessons to your device, that data is going to be backed up here, unless TMU Tutorials is switched off. All this means is that if you get a new iPad and want to reload this backup onto it, your saved lessons from the TMU Tutorials app wouldn't be included in that backup. But you could easily re-download that content from the app. If I turn this off, that data isn't backed up or counted against my iCloud storage. So managing what gets backed up can be helpful if you're getting close to filling up your iCloud storage space. We'll talk more about general iCloud storage management in the next lesson.